so here is how to have a conditional extension in your URL. Um, this is pretty self-explanatory. Um, this is just this slash is just escaping the period so that it knows the period is not a special character. And this question mark tells us that either this extension, this dot htm extension is going to appear zero or one times. And this extension could be htm or html or any other extension. And the extension can be captured right here. This rewrite rule will capture this URL without an extension or this URL with a .htm extension. It will also capture this with a query string and no extension or this with an extension and a query string.